So I was doing a little debrief about our trip to Abidjan, our scouting trip that my husband and I just did a few weeks ago. And really the goal of the trip was really to see if we could see ourselves living there with our family. And, you know, I have to say that there were a lot of things that I wasn't ready for. And it's true. There are a lot of things in Africa that are uncomfortable, that make your life difficult that you know i don't want to be delusional and naive because a lot of the videos that we see on youtube are about the positive side of africa the positive things and all the good things to do and everybody just come back and and you know come back to to the motherland and everything you know between the bureaucracy certain behavior you know bribery things like that oh water cuts power cuts sometimes you know, you, you just have to be honest with yourself and, you know, see if this is really something you want to live with. And, you know, instead of the quote unquote comfortable life that you have in America with, you know, you can get Amazon Prime same day if you want, or at least two days at the most. And, you know, we sometimes have this, um, Okay, the cutting grass right now. I'm gonna wait a little bit. So, and, and even we have this notion that Africa is poor and thus cheap, right? Which is not true at all. It's really, really expensive. It's in a previous video, I talked about our budget here in the US and our budget in Cameroon and Ivory Coast and how it might be a little more expensive than living here in the US. So do we really want to go? Do we really want to put ourselves and our family in that situation? The answer is yes. <laughs> the answer is yes, because it's a big, big, however, yes, some of these things that I just mentioned are true, but a lot of them are not true. Okay, so let's get into it. So, if you're new here, my name is Linda Eno, and in this channel, I am actually documenting our family's process of moving back to Africa. We are considering Cameroon and Cote d'Ivoire. If you want to know why these two countries, make sure you look at the video in the description where I share the 10 reasons why we want to leave the US and also the reasons why we're considering Cote d'Ivoire and the reasons why we're considering Cameroon. So there's a big how ever here big 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 however so did i miss america when i was there to be honest yes there were some inconveniences there are inconveniences everywhere all around the world there are inconveniences here in the u.s one of them not access to fresh organic food at a reasonable price that's a big inconvenience okay um there were inconveniences here and there Let's talk about the water and power cuts. We had, we experienced one power cut. It was, and it, I think it lasted an hour or something like that. That's it. There was no power shortage. No, none of that. Okay. None of these things that we think that are going, we're going to experience all the time. Sure. It happens in some areas. Maybe it was because of the house where I was in with my friend, the neighborhood where she lives. Sure. But that shows to you that you don't have to experiment or to experience, sorry, um, power and water shortages just like you think you're going to. It just depends on where you live. Okay, so that's a choice that you can make. Um, so yes, to be honest, I was ready. When I was there, I was ready to, to make it happen. And I am ready to make it happen. And talking with my husband, we are ready to make it happen. So you know, in spite of everything that I said at the beginning of this video, the only thing that there were issues, yes, but they were not deal breakers. And to be honest, the only thing that I really missed was my kids. The only thing I really missed was my kids. So yes, going there, I know it's going to be different. I know it's going to be in uncomfortable. Coming from Africa, coming to the US was uncomfortable too. The language, I was already fluent in English, but having to go to school, to grad school, and speak English all day, do my PhD in English all day. Those were uncomfortable moments, but I had to do it and I did it and I survived and I thrived, right? So just because it's uncomfortable doesn't mean that you cannot do it. Doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it. Doesn't mean that you shouldn't try at least, okay? So 
you know, the, the main thing that I will miss, sure, the comforts, the, the conveniences of this and that, of drive-throughs here and there, but you can actually trade the fast and automate it for embracing the slower pace of life and actually also having the option of people doing these things for you. So, for example, talking about shopping, we do a lot of online shopping here, right? Even for your groceries, getting delivered and everything. I'm really specific. I'm really repeating the, the whole grocery thing because to me, it's very, very important. Having access to fresh organic food at a reasonable price, to me, it's basic. It's basic, right? However, in America, it's not basic, right? It's not. Um, having access to food is in most areas, but fresh organic food it's a luxury in most areas here in America. So having somebody, you can send somebody to the market for you to go get you those food. You can have a driver to take you, to take you places to take your kids to school. You can have somebody cook for you at home. You can have a nanny at home. All of these are more reasonable price, okay? More reasonable than you would hear. I said it in a previous video of the things that I wish we had here in America that we have in Africa. Having that support is crucial. It is crucial and we are missing out a lot here. I mean, just a little example. We have a, a lady who comes once a month to clean the house. So once a month and we pay $200. That could be cheap for people maybe in New York or in California. So here in Texas, we pay $200. But she comes once, once a week. I mean, not once a week, once a month. She comes once a month. While in Africa, I can have somebody full time and pay the same or even a little more, but she is there full time, right? Big difference. So yes, there are a lot of things that I'm gonna miss from America. The small things, the small conveniences, yes, my bed, the big yard and all of that, but mostly my family and my friends. That for sure I'm going to miss by living America. But I also know that I'm going to be able to be with other friends over there and have the conveniences of life, community life in Africa that we don't have here in America. So are we ready to go? Yes, we are so ready to go. Should you do a scouting trip before you go, make sure you watch this video. I'm going to put it somewhere here on the screen where I recommend, highly recommend you go on a scouting trip before you make this decision to actually go and move to the continent. Now, what are your thoughts? Are you still on the team? You know what? Too many inconveniences, so I think I'm going to chill here in the comfort of my American life. Or are you on the team? Okay, I'm ready to go in spite of the possible inconveniences that I might face in Africa. Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, make sure you like this video, share it with a friend, and subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss any other video that documents our whole process. Until next time, bye-bye.